folks welcome to the channel so Anthony Joshua has a choice or in my opinion a dilemma go for the money route which will be to fight Francis Ngannou or go for the title shot and fight Philip Hergovic to try and win the IBF title or go for the WBO and face Zili Zhang or maybe even fight Frank Sanchez or Martin Bacall to get closer to that WBC belt so he has few options Okay, let's break it down. What does Joshua really want? The money or glory? Well, if it's money, then it's got to be Francis Ngannou. And why? Well, in my opinion, Joshua is not as good as his fans believe he is, or he thinks he is. He's a good boxer, but not a great boxer. So he will try and make as much money as possible as belts are too far for him to reach. And time is running out. The last time Britain had a good heavyweight boxer was Lennox Lewis. Now, Lennox was a great boxer. He took on all the challenges and beat them, and he proved it. In Lennox's time, there were great heavyweights like Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, and so and so. None of these so called hyped up and mediocre heavyweights. If he fights Francis Ngannou, and by the way, Francis Ngannou, in my book, is not a boxer. He hasn't done his apprenticeship like most classical boxers do, going through amateur fights and some to the Olympics and then turning professional. I think the reason why he is popular is that he was famous in UFC and he brings followers to the boxing stadium. By doing this, he sells tickets. And the more tickets he sells, the more popular he becomes. Okay, let me ask you a question. If Francis didn't knock Fury down, Will he have been popular? Well, in my opinion, no. Uh, why doesn't he fight someone like Frank Sanchez, Philip Elgovich, Zili Zhang, Joseph Parker, or even up and coming Fabio Wardley? Well, I believe any of these will knock him out within a few rounds. So if Joshua takes Francis Ngannou on for his next fight, it's just to sell tickets, bulge the bank balance, and not work towards the belt title belts. And by the way, one other point, there are a few mediocre boxers who was in mixed martial arts and done a crossover. Look at uh, Jarrell Miller. He was good at uh, kickboxing and look where he is now. And there's a few Australian good boxers and a few Americans that done a crossover and none of them are in a top 10. Well, Jarrell Miller is, but I don't know why. He lost. Now, on the other hand, if Joshua is serious and he believes himself to be a good boxer or a great boxer, then he should chase the title and prove it to himself and to the, and the public that he's a good boxer. And if he wants to be remembered as a great boxer, then he should prove it by doing what Lennox Lewis did and be an undisputed world champion and able to beat anyone put in front of him rather than cherry picking. Let's be honest. He avoided Dante Wilder a few times and Tyson Fury and a few others. Who has Joshua fought that you can call decent boxer? Well, only one, and that was Yuzik, and he beat him twice. Well, Andy Ruiz beat him as well. He came back and he beat Andy Ruiz on points. And Andy Ruiz is a fat boxer. He hasn't fought Zeni Zhang, Martin Bacall, Philip Ergovic, Cabayel, Jared Anderson, Fabio Worley, and a few others. Okay, we've got a few different heavyweight uh, organization. But to be the best, you need to beat the best of all of them to be called great boxer. He should take Zeli Zhang for the WBO belt, like I said, or go for Filip Ergovic for the IBF, or even go for WBA or WBC and fight Martin Bacall or Sanchez and prove that he is a good boxer. Trying to win the belts will give Joshua more credibility as a boxer than trying to fight Ngannou for money. And if he is as good as he thinks he is, he will make more money by going this route. Because not only will he get recognition, but he will also sell more tickets by fighting proper boxers. An exhibition back with Ngannou is not the way. Or is Joshua afraid to take on the above-mentioned boxers? You can't call yourself a great boxer by beating journeyman boxers and calling yourself a good or great boxer. You need to prove it. 
Well, we will see who Joshua will take one next. And don't tell me he will take one Ghana, then pursue the belts. It's all rubbish. In that case, he's scared to take on others, looking for easy payday, afraid to take risks and have easy fights and pray like a golden goose that laid golden eggs. So what do you think, folks? That's my opinion and thoughts. What is yours? Leave them in the comments below and please keep it civilized. And before you do, don't forget to subscribe and see that like button. Do us a great favor. Give it a solid right uppercut. And see you next time. Thank you for watching.